letter that has arrested them. Yes, but Lord yes, God, yes, Lord. we know that you yes, are the God Lord. that, hallelujah, that yes, can do all things all but things. fail. And you can take away, you can relieve, Father yes, God, yes, yes. that hurt right now. Yes, in the Lord, name God. of Jesus, name of we lay it at your throne of grace. Yes, Lord, Good morning, Lord. Michelle. Yes. Whatever you're going through yes, this morning, yes, yes, Jamila, yes. Alicia, yes. Nancy, Velma, yes, uh, Calandra, yes, Tawana, yes, whatever it is, yes, if it's just a little ache in your pinky toe, yes, we're Lord. gonna give it to God today. Yes, yes, if you need an answer from Him, we're gonna give that question yes, to Him yes. today. In the name yes, of Jesus, name of Jesus. you don't have to carry it, no, but God, we know if we lay it at Your throne of yes, grace, yes, that You yes. are the God that sits yes. at the right hand yes, of the Father, yes, and You God. intercede on our yes, behalf. On our behalf. And we ask you right now to take it all in. Take it, all in, take it to the Father to right me. now, Lord it. God. And we ask you, Lord God, to answer us, Lord God, yes, Lord. according to your will and glory. Yes, in, yes, the in the name Jesus, of Jesus, we patiently yes, await yes, for the God. manifestation yes, of your God. word. Yes, we wait on you, Lord yes, God. Lord. Father God, because your word tells us, uh, if we seek ye the kingdom of heaven first, uh, and all your righteousness, uh, these things shall be added unto thee. Uh, If we look to the hills uh, which cometh our help, uh, oh my God, my God, that's what your word tells us. uh, That's what your word teaches us. uh, We just gotta look. uh, We just gotta look and trust you. uh, This morning, Father God, we're at your yes, throne Lord. of grace uh, yes, and we're looking to the hills uh, to which the come hills. with our help uh, yes, we Lord. give it to you Lord we'll God you. and we say help yes, help Lord. us Lord. Lord help us where we help can't Lord. help right ourselves now, right help now, us Lord. Lord where we can't even yes, think yes, Father God yes, straight yes. help us Lord where yes. the pain hurts us so bad yes, we Lord. can't even move and get yes. out of bed help us Lord Father God help us Father God yes. We just all we can do is just cry. Yes, we yes. need your help this morning. Yes. So we're here, Lord God. Yes, we're Lord. laying our request yes, at your throne of grace. Me. We're petitioning you, Lord God, yes, right Lord. now uh, right to now, alleviate Lord. this pain. Yes. We don't understand, but yes, we know Lord. that you yes, understand. Yes, Doctor Jesus, uh, the Jesus. one that can regulate our thoughts and our yes. minds. Uh, the one on, that can on, change the mindset. Yes, the one that can speak yes, to the wind. Lord. And the wind will obey. Yes. We come to you this yes, morning. Yes, and yes. we lay Pastor Austin and the yes, Austin Lord. family yes, at your throne of grace, Lord, Lord God. And we say the God of comfort. Yes. Comfort them right, right now. now. Right. Lord God, it don't have to be no words spoken. Yes, but yes. it's your presence. Yes. It's the Holy Spirit yes, yes, that yes. does everything. Yes. That we need says everything that we need. So we're here, Lord God, saying, Jesus, Jesus. help, help, Help. Help, Lord. We don't understand everything, and we don't claim to understand everything, Lord God. But we know that you are our heavenly Father, and we know, Father God, what your word teaches us. And that's what we're praying on this morning, that as we go through this valley, this valley of grief, this valley of loss, this valley of depression, this valley of sickness, as we go through this valley, Lord God, we know that you, Father God, are with us. You are with us, Lord God, and we're not alone. So we lay it at your throne of grace this morning. And have your way, Lord God, for everyone that's online, for everyone that's connected. Father God, have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Good morning, Patricia. Good morning, Chandra. Have your way, Lord God. Turn it around, Lord God. Bring some relief, Lord God. Bring your relief, Lord God. Father 
Father God lack. Lack, Father God. Anyone that has a lack has a financial need. Father God, we give it to you right now. In the name of Jesus, we trust you with every dime. We trust you, Lord God, that what we have, that you will make it enough. Make it stretch, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, anyone that has a health issue right now, Father God, we ask you right now to be the doctor, Jehovah Rabbi, the God that heals. Father God, it's your word that you manifest, that every stripe on your back, Father God, you Lord, for you to warn the Lord God, for Calandra, for Velma, Lord God, Lord God, for Pastor Austin and Pastor Brandon, Lord God, they the stripes belongs on your back, belongs to them. We thank you this morning. We praise you this morning. We glorify you this morning. In the name of Jesus. In your name, Lord. According to your will. According to your glory. We give you the praise this morning. We know you're going to turn it around. Whatever it is, Lord God, you're going to turn it around. And I want you to know, I want everyone to know that it's not me, it's not her, but it's God. Give him the praise right now. Start praising him. Start thanking him. Hallelujah. Don't hold back your praise. Don't hold back the glory from God. Give him the glory right now. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, right now. Give it to him right Give now. It right now. Because it's him. Yes. It's him. Yes. It's the God that yes. died. It yes. was the one that was stretched wide. Yes. Yes. You yes. know the sermon. Yes. You know what he did. Yes. That's whom you should yes. praise. Yes. Not the surgeon. Yes. Not the medicine. Yes. But it's the Lord God oh, God. who oh, God. gave up his life yes. for you and me. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to Give him. it to him. Give it all to him. Hallelujah. The creator. The creator. Of heaven and earth. Yes. Yes, yes. Give it to him. Yes, God. Don't yes, give God. God's credit yes, God. to anyone else. Yes. Hallelujah. But Jesus. give it to him. Yes. You, 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 your son is changing. He's, he's doing better. Your daughter, you see a change. You, 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 you give it to him. Lord, yes. I thank you. Yes. I, I, I acknowledge, Lord God, yes. your hand yes. of mercy and grace. Yes. I acknowledge, Lord God, yes. the little changes, Lord yes, God. God. Nobody yes, but you, Father Nobody God. Nobody but you. Nobody but you. Nobody. Nobody but you. Start giving God the praise. Yes, Lord. Don't take thank it you. from him. Don't take Thank his you. glory. Yes. Don't give it to me. I don't yes. want it. Yes. I'm not yes. in a position to receive it. That's it. But That's my it. God, my God, yes. the one who created heaven yes. and earth, Hallelujah. the one that said, let there be light in there was, yes. the one that separated yes. the sun from the yes. moon, yes. separated the, the yes. water, that's who we should get all the praise. Yes. That's who we should give the glory oh, to. Lord. We forget oh, what Lord. he's Lord. done. Lord. We forget the small things. Yes. But now it's time to remember yes. all of these who's things. in control. Yes, yes, yes. My God. Who can fix the hurt? My God. Nobody but Jesus. Who can restore you? Nobody but Jesus. Who can give you salvation? Nobody but Jesus. We've got to remember. Nobody but Jesus. We've Thank got you. to remember. Thank you. Thank you. When you had that ache and you yes. they took uh, 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 all yes. those medicines and it didn't Nobody do anything, but, but one morning you got up and you said, Oh, I don't feel anything. Nobody but Jesus. Blood sugar was up, but now My it's God. down, it's leveled. My God. You don't have to take insulin anymore. My you can God. just take a pill. Nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. I'm telling you, My give God. God the praise. Yes. Give him the glory. Yes. Start praising yes. him in advance Anything. so that you can yes. see yes. the manifestation of yes. his word. Yes. I'm going to give you my testimony. Yes. Come on now. I've been hurt. Come on my now. knees have been bad, bad. 
ass yes, pass, yes. lip it and barely can yes, walk. I told you Jesus. all about it. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, for three weeks yes, now, yes. I have not taken no pain medicine. All I have done is taken the blessed oil that my pastor yes, prayed over, yes, yes. and I rub it on my knees, yes. and I start thanking God, yes. and I start giving I God the Jesus. praise. And I have not had to use no medicine, Nobody only the oil. If you got any oil, I'm going to tell you now, start blessing yourself. Yes. Start yes. rubbing yourself yes. and giving yes. God, anointing yourself. Yes. Give God some praise. Yes. Anoint Lord. your doors. Yes. Anoint your, 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 your car. Yes. Anoint where you work at. Yes. So that if you need peace, yes. he'll yes. give you peace. Give if you need a deliverance, yes, he'll give you that. If he needs to shut up some mouths, yes. he'll do that. He'll but that. if you take that all, don't just let it sit there yes. and get dust. But I tell you, I'm yes. a witness. Yes. If you apply the blood, yes. because the, the blood, blood of God. Jesus still works. Still works. It's still the blood. Works. It's the blood of Jesus. It's the blood. I don't care. I don't care. You're depressed. Anoint yourself, Father God. I apply the blood of Jesus upon me. And I speak life into myself. I am not depressed. But I've got joy. I've got unspeakable joy. Lord God, I apply the blood of Jesus. I've got these bills. But I got this amount. I thank you, Lord God, for, 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 for everything that you're going to do for God. For, for, for yes. taking care of the light yes. bill, uh, the yes. car note, uh, yes, the insurance. Yes, I apply the blood of yes, Jesus uh, upon this bill, yes, that bill. Blood, uh, the blood, start the blood, applying the blood, blood of Jesus. Uh, start blood, speaking. Uh, start speaking over yes. everything. Yes, uh, and everything. give God the glory. Yes. Uh, give it to Him. Worship yes, Him. Yes. Uh, and don't look at the circumstances, uh, but look at the God. Uh, yes, even yes. though you may be grieving right now, uh, but I'm going to tell you now, if you look up to the yes, hills where my God is, I tell you, he'll lighten the hurt. Yes, he'll yes, lighten yes, that pain. Yes, it Lord. won't go away, yes, but Lord. he'll show you how to yes, manage it. He'll let yes, you be able to yes, wake yes, up yes, with yes, peace in your mind. Yes, he'll yes, let you be able to wake yes, up with some joy. Yes, he'll yes, let you yes. be able to wake up my and God, do the task God, that you God. have to do in that day. Yes. That's the kind of God that's that we God serve. Wisdom. And that's yes. why you have to give him praise. Yes. That's why you yes. can't forget to give him the glory. Yes. Yes. That's why you can't take yes. it for yourself. Because yes. he's the God that does everything. Everything. He everything. will. Everything. He will. Everything. And he's always on time. Always. Come on. Always on time. Always. Hallelujah. He's the God of second chances. Come on. Come on. He's a God of healing. Yes. He's a God of restoration. Yeah. He's a God of restoring. Jesus. He's a God of provision. Jesus. He's a God of love. Jesus. Hallelujah. Just call on his name. Jesus. Call on his name. Seek after him. Jesus. Seek after him. Because everything Jesus. you need Woo. is in the blood of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. Everything. You need is in the blood of Jesus. Jesus. My God, Jesus, just trust him on this day. Jesus, he'll do just what he says he'll do. And the Bible says he'll never Jesus. leave you nor forsake you. Jesus, and I'm a witness to that. Jesus, Hallelujah, Jesus, Hallelujah. Trust in God, have your way, Lord. Hallelujah, have Jesus. your way, Lord God. Hallelujah, Father God, Jesus. we pray right now for everyone that's on this line, Lord God. Father God, that they'll Hallelujah, find Jesus. their voice, Lord yes, God, yes, right now yes. in the name of in Jesus, name of that they will Jesus. call upon you right yes, now, Lord God. Father yes, God, whether Lord, they're yes, grief stricken, Lord God, yes, whether Lord. Father God they're unevenly yes, yoked Lord. in a certain situation, yes, Lord, Lord God, Father God, whether they don't even have enough money, yes, Lord, Lord God, Father God, whether they're forced yes, are facing yes, foreclosure, Lord, Lord God, Lord yes, God, eviction, yes, Lord yes, God, about to yes, lose yes, their car, Lord God, children are acting up, Lord God, yes, whatever it is, Lord yes, God, yes, facing yes. Father God, lawsuits, Lord God, yes, got to go stand before a judge, yes, Lord God, yes, Lord, whatever yes, the situation. Is. We all going through some exactly. type of situation. Yes, yes. Whatever it is, Lord yes, God, Lord. we ask you right now, Father God, yes. that as you sit at the right hand yes. of the Father, interceding for yes, us, Lord God, we give yes, it to you Lord. right now, Lord God. Release their yes, minds, release Father God, God. and bring some peace, Father release God, into their peace. spirits, Lord God. 
God, that they can open up their mouths and give you glory, Lord God, and give you honor, Lord God, to start thanking you, Father God, for what you're about to do. Thank you for the favor, Lord God. Thank you for the blessings, Lord God. Thank you for the turnaround, Lord God. Thank you for the healing, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. So we come right now, Lord God, as we're about to get ready and close, Lord God. We just want to praise you and thank you, Father God, for everyone that tuned in this morning, for everyone that's laying every burden, every situation at the throne of grace right now, and releasing it unto you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God. We yes. thank you, Lord God, for the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord God. Yes, Hallelujah, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. For everyone, Lord God. Yes, what Lord. you're doing, Father God, yes, for them Lord. and their families and everyone that's connected to them, Lord yes, God. Lord. Father God, yes, we Lord. know that you are able to do all things but yes. fail. Everything. And I thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing. Yes, Lord. For Zion, for Pastor. Yes, Lord. For everyone, Lord God, that's connected to Zion, for yes, everyone that's Virtual, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, for Pastor Brandon and his family, Lord God, and Pastor Austin and his entire family, Lord God, the the musicians, Lord God, the the, 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 the praise. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. We thank you. Go with God today. Be blessed. Trust him. Give it to him. Stop taking... Stop taking God's glory and stop placing God's glory on the wrong people yes. and start giving it to him. Yes. Stop stop honoring it and bowing down to others up because they've done something. They only did it because God told them to yes. do it. That's why they did it. That's why that's why it so was possible. That's why it was able. So be blessed yes. and give God all his glory. Honor God yes. Yes. by letting him know that you know that it was God that did it. Good morning, Tam- tomorrow. Good morning to you, my sister. Yes. Trust God, because he's the one that's going to fix it. Yes. He'll fix your marriage. He'll fix the children yes. at the appointed time. He'll fix yes. it all. He'll fix it all. If you give it to him it and Jesus. stop doing this and holding it for fix yourself. It what can yes. you do? Yes. You can't do anything, but my God can do all things. All but things. Better. All things. Trust him. Yes. Lean on to, lean on to the Lord. And not yourself. Yes. Don't take counsel in your own self, which it makes you a fool. Yes. But when you trust God, yes, yes. yes. Oh my God, you'll see change. Yes, He'll work it out. You'll see change. He'll show up. Yes. So yes. we're gonna get ready and just close out because time is running out. But I'm asking you to open up your mouths and give God praise. Yes. Give God praise, and let Him know that you. Appreciate him for all that he's done for you. All that he's done. Small because he things could have been tore up and nasty, but God fixed it. Yes. And he's still fixing some things. He's not even finished yet. Yes. But he showed you his glory. Yes. The thing is, who you gonna thank for it? Yes. Who you gonna give it to? Yes. Good morning, James. God bless you and your family. May he continue to keep you. And open up the doors that needs yes. to be opened up and close the doors that needs to be closed. Yes. And everything that your heart desires, if it's according according to his will and glory, that he shall bring it unto you yes. according to his will and his yes. glory. In Jesus' name we pray as we touch and yes. agree and close out this segment yes. here. May God continue to bless you and keep you as you move forward. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. 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 To God be the glory for the things he has done. Yes. Be blessed. Yes. Amen, amen, amen. I don't know. I guess I'm still on. Do I still? I got 50. Oh, Lord, thank you, Holy Spirit. I got 50, uh, 51, 50 more more minutes. So to God be the glory. I can always pray. Lord God, since you have given us this time, Father God, I ask you, Lord God, right now, for everyone, Lord God, that needs a door open, Lord God, I ask you right now yes. to open. Good morning, our uh, uh, sister Fryer. Yes. Good morning, yes. my love. May yes. God continue to open up the doors uh, 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 
in the name of Jesus, yes. Father God, whatever needs to be open, open those right doors now, right God. now, Lord right God. Now. I ask you, Father God, to change their mindsets, Lord yes, God, yes. that they will open up their yes, ears to God. hear from you, Father God, and that they will obey your will, Lord God, in the name yes, of Jesus. Yes. It starts with obedience, Lord That's God. Right. So let Amen. them be obedient, Amen. Father God, Amen. in the name of Jesus, the so they may Jesus. receive all that you have for them in this upcoming week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Come on, open up your mouth, say something to our Father. Simple song, it says, Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Lord, you are welcome in this place. Have your way. Come on, everybody, say that. Lord, you are welcome. Lord, you are welcome in this place. In this place. Lord, you are welcome. Lord, you are welcome in this place. In this place. Lord, you are. Lord, you are. Say it again, Lord, you are. you to show you, show us you, and, and we ask you, Father, to cover us as we come to give honor and praise to you. We thank you, God, for being who you are because you thought of everything, and we thank you for blessing us to have a mindset, Father, to come out and recognize who you are. So, Father, in, our, in this, this, this place, we ask you now, come in, have your way. Stay as long as you want, do all you want, as long as you can. We give you honor, we give you praise. We ask you to continue blessing for our pastor in his hour of sorrow. We ask you to cover him and his family. We ask you to bless him, Father. Let him know that earth has no sorrow, that heaven can't heal. So bless him right now. And bless everyone as we receive from on high everything you has for us. And continue to watch over us and keep us virtually as and in, per in person. Bless us as only you can. We love you. We give you honor. We thank you for your son, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, your angels. We thank you for your word. Not to him that's able to keep us from falling. We ask your continued blessing. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Come on, Zion. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh, listen, I'm talking to you. Somebody shout hallelujah. Listen, listen. Do, do me one favor. I need you to slip out of your seat. Slip out of your seat. Go find three people and tell them I'm ready to praise my God. Come on, come on, go find somebody. Come on, tell them I have a reason. Come on, I have a reason to praise him. I'm ready to praise my God. Come on, y'all, let's move around in here because I feel the power of God reaching and stretching, reaching and stretching, stretching out in me. Everybody clap 
to do. I don't know what you come to do. Say, I don't know what you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. Let's go. 
Every hand lifted, we're praying for the strength of our first family. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We're praying that God strengthen them yes, in this their hour of bereavement. Yes, so often they're there in the gap for us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> so often they're there and they're the strength for us. Yes. When we're down, when we've lost a loved one, when we don't know what we're going to do. But understand, pastors need prayer too. Yes, yes. Pastors need someone that says, Pastor, I don't mind sending up a word for you today. So can, can we do that? Can we do that? Come on, everyone, get your first family on your mind. Father, strengthen them. Uphold them, oh God, with your right hand. The Build them up, oh God. The we ask that you touch them. Let your glory fall in their house, oh God. Touch his heart. Touch the lady's heart, oh God. Touch the children, oh God. Like only you can, oh God. Father, we don't come to question you, but we come to yield ourselves and say, not our will, but your will be done. Thank you now, oh God, for strengthening them. Thank you now, oh God, for touching them. Thank you now, oh God, for holding them. And Father, we honor you and we glorify you because you are God. And besides you, there is none other. And Father, as we begin to prepare our hearts for the word, Father, we ask, oh God, that you transcend our hearts like only you can. We ask, oh God, that you cut us open and create in us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us. Father, we ask that you move our worries and our problems from the forefront of our mind and allow us to no longer see our problems. Allow us to see you. Allow us to see you working it out. Allow us to see you bringing us through. Allow us to see you healing our bodies, you regulating our minds. And we say thank you because you are worthy of all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. That is to you in Jesus' name. You're so worthy. Can somebody just look up and say you're worthy? I couldn't seem to fall asleep. There was so much on my mind. Zion, I was searching for that peace. But the peace. I could not find so I kneel down to pray and I pray Lord help me please he says son you don't have to cry no more I'm God and I'll supply all your needs he said soon as soon as I start worrying come on you sing it Is with that's with me. Yeah. I stop looking at the cliff.
God has ever made a way for you. I said, if God has ever made a way for you, if God has ever made a way for you, come on, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Come on, come on, come on, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. If he's ever made a way for you, if he's ever made a way for you, just take a moment. Just take a moment and give him the thanks that he's worthy of. Come on. If he's ever made a way for you. If he's ever made a way for you. Savior divine, how we are grateful that you are a way-making God, that God, when there is no way, 
you can make one for us. You can create what has not been created. You can move the unmovable. So God, we just thank you for making a way. God, we don't have to look that far back to see that you've made a way. But Lord God, you made a way for us to wake up this morning when somebody else didn't get that privilege. Lord God, we thank you for making a way. God, you made a way for us to get to this place we call Zion safely when others didn't get the privilege of getting to their destination. Lord, we tell you thank you for making a way. Lord God, not only did you get us up, but you clothed us in our right mind when others didn't get that privilege. Lord, we thank you for making a way. Now, Lord, we ask you that prepare our hearts and minds to receive your word now. Lord God, somebody has came here for one thing and someone else for another. But God, we need your word. More than ever before, we need your word. God, I pray as always that you empty all of me out now and Fill me up with nothing but you. Allow your people to see none of me but all of thee. Hide me behind this sacred desk and use me, Lord God, until you've used me up. Don't allow my faults, my frailties, or my failures to get in the way. Don't allow my lack of strength to get in the way. But have your way in this place. Move how you want to move and say what you want to say and do what you want to do, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we pray that because of your word, somebody leaves here differently than they came. And Lord God, we will be ever so careful to give you all the praise, honor, and glory. In your son Christ Jesus' name, we do pray. All those who know that God is a way maker, come on, just give God praise in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. Certainly it's an honor and a privilege to be able to come back to the house of the Lord. Um, there is a word that God has led me to share uh, with us today. I uh, must be honest, I wrestled mightily with what, <laughs> what to preach today. And um, this calendar, this date has been on our calendar for six months now. And I had it all planned out, uh, but sometimes life happens and uh, God calls an audible um, and changes um, the need for the day. Um, of course, um, we stand, all of us, um, with an extension of heavy hearts today um, as we are um, praying for and um, lifting up and even feeling the pain of um, of our pastor losing his mother um, and we uh, we uh, we are family so when one of us are hurting all of us are hurting um, but God's word is better than medicine God's word is better than any psychiatrist or counselor so I thank him for his word today. I mean, I know Pastor is watching, and we want him to know that um, we're praying for him and we're lifting him up. I mean, it doesn't matter what's going on. We are always Zion strong. Amen. We are always <clears throat> we're always Zion strong. Um, I would that you would turn with me to the book of Isaiah. The, the book of Isaiah. chapter number six. Isaiah chapter number six, I'm going to read just one verse of scripture for the sake of our subject today. Isaiah six, that'll be verse number one. 
reading from the New King James Version. I solicit your prayers today. I'm, I need it today. Isaiah chapter number six, verse number one. If you got it, say, I got it. I got it. All right. If you don't have it, just look up and you can read it from the screen with us. Isaiah 6, verse number 1 says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Verse number 1 again, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. You may be seated in the very presence of our God. I want to tag this text and our time together with this simple thought. He's still God. Would you just look at somebody and say that he's still God? Yeah, I don't, I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what's going on in your life. I don't care what you're facing right now. The word for you today is he's still. He's still God. Deacon Striggles, I've learned that the only thing that is consistent about life is that life is inconsistent. I said the only thing that's consistent about life is that life is inconsistent. It is full of ups and just as many or not more down. It's full of happy and sad. It's full of good and bad. The only thing consistent about life is that life is inconsistent. When you wake up every morning, you can plan how you want your day to go. But life is so inconsistent that you can plan it any way you want. But things that you could have never imagined will happen and they'll happen without your permission. Life is consistently inconsistent. You never know what today is gonna hold. You never know the kind of battles you're gonna have to face. You, you never know the kind of news you're gonna get. You, you never know the kind of things you're gonna have to wrestle with. You, you never know the people you're gonna have to encounter. You never know what you're gonna have to deal with from day to day. And it doesn't matter if you are saved. It doesn't matter if you come to church every week. It doesn't matter if you are a prayer warrior. It doesn't matter if you are a deacon. It doesn't matter if you are a trustee. It doesn't matter if you are a preacher or a pastor. Life will throw some things at you that you could have never imagined. Life will cause you to see life and not understand anything about it. You can be young in age. You can be middle age. You can be old in age. And you still don't know everything there is to know about life. Because just when you thought you knew all there was to know, things will come your way and cause you to start thinking again. Just when you thought you had it all figured out, life will happen. And when you had the answers, one day things will happen and you don't have no answers for it. When you had solutions, life will happen and it will put you in a place where there's nothing you can do about it. Because life is consistently inconsistent. And 
this inconsistency wears and tears on us. The inconsistencies of life is what calls us to stay up at night. The inconsistencies in life is what calls our blood pressure to be high sometimes. The, the inconsistencies of life is what calls us to stress. If everything was always the same, at least we would know what to expect tomorrow. If it, whether it's always bad or always good, at least we know what to expect. But the problem is, is that when we're walking through this thing called life, we don't know what's going to swing on us around the corner. We don't know what's going to hit us when we turn. So life's inconsistencies will deplete your strength, but it'll also deplete your faith. And depending on the circumstances that we find ourselves in, sometimes our view of God can be altered. Life will cause you to not just doubt yourself, but if we'll be honest today, Life will cause you to doubt God. L life will cause you to put you in a position where just when you thought you knew all there was to know about God, he'll leave you scratching your head. Our thoughts sometime towards God can be shifted because of the things that life puts us through. Because life will throw you in so many different directions and throw so many things at you. And in this text before us today, Isaiah the prophet has experienced a great loss. He's in a rough season. And while that, that, that there, of course, would have been because uh, uh, theologians believe that this King Uzziah that the scripture talks about it, it is believed that he was a blood relative of Isaiah. And, and, and he's experiencing this great loss. He, he's experiencing this loss in his life. But it's important that we see what's going on even surrounding this loss that he's, that he's experiencing. Th there's a few things that this text is tailored to teach us because, of course, anyone that experiences some kind of loss will go through a season of mourning. E everyone that experiences some kind of loss will go through some experience, uh, some kind of depression, some kind of sadness. It doesn't have to be a person you lost, but if you lose a job, if you lose some money, if you lose a friend, anytime you lose something, it puts you in a state where you are depleted and you are depressed. And that's what we see in the text today. Isaiah has experienced a great loss. The Bible says in the year that King Uzziah died, Isaiah had this great loss. And the question I had in looking at this was, and you may have asked this too, where was the Lord in all of this? When, when, when life really hits you, those of us that will be honest, we sometimes ask the question, where was God? Where, where was God when I got sick? Where? Where was God when my family member died? Where, where, where was God when I got in that car accident? Where was God when I couldn't pay my bills? Where, where was God? First thing I want you to see in this text, first thing I want you to see is that the Bible says that in the year King Uzziah died, Isaiah says, I saw the Lord. <laughs> he says, I saw the the Lord. The, the, the first thing I want you to see that Isaiah, uh, that, that, that Isaiah teaches us here, that Isaiah gives us here is that even in his time of difficulty, even in his time of turmoil, even in his time of depression, God could still be seen. 
<laughs> That's my first little thought today, that even with Isaiah going through what he was going through, God could still be seen. The, the Bible says in the year that King Isaiah died, this is what Isaiah said. He said, I saw the Lord. I, I, I saw the Lord. He, he didn't see his depression. He, he didn't see his problem. He didn't see his circumstance. The Bible says I saw the Lord and what that is tailored to teach us is that when you are going through turmoil, when you are going through pain, when you are going through sickness, when you are going through loss, when you are going through troubles, you got to make sure that you keep your eyes on the Lord. You got to make sure that your eyes to stay where they're supposed to be. You, you, you got to make sure that when life is throwing haymakers at you, you keep your eyes on God because sometimes he seems far away. Sometimes it seems like he's nowhere to be found. But if you just keep on looking for him, if you just keep on seeking him, God will make sure that you see him. God will make sure that he comforts you. God will make sure that even in trouble, you can still see your God and I know I'm talking to somebody that has been through some pains that has been through some problems that has been through some predicaments that the only reason you got through it is because you kept your eyes on the Lord the only reason you got past it is because you kept your eyes on the Lord if you would have looked down if you would have looked to the left if you would have looked to the right we'd be visiting you in a crazy house we'd be visiting you at a cemetery but because you kept your eyes eyes on the Lord. I look to the hills from which cometh my help. Oh, my help comes from the Lord. Is there anybody in here that can give God praise that you serve a God who even in pain, even in struggle, he can still be seen. Your friends might walk away. Your family might not be available. The people closest to probably can't be seen. But if you look to God, he will make sure that he is seen. God will make sure that you can see him. God, God will make sure that you can see him. You may not always sense him. It might not always feel like he's closer. But if you look in the right places, if you look where you're supposed to look, if you still seek after God, the Bible says, knock and the door will be open. Seek and you will be found. Ask and the Lord will give you the desires of your heart. God makes sure that when his children are going through, he can still be seen. My situation may not change, but God can still be seen. Oh, I might not be healed yet, but God can still be seen. My family member may not be coming back, but God can still be seen. These bills are not being paid yet, but God can still be seen. As a matter of fact, sometimes just seeing the Lord is better than the problem being solved because God doesn't always get you out of the problem, but sometimes God will just step in it with you and make it bearable. Make sure you can keep on walking. Is there anybody in here that can testify that I didn't come to church this morning because everything is all right. I didn't come to church this morning because I feel so great. I didn't come to church this morning because I felt like it. But when I woke up this morning, I saw the Lord. When I woke up this morning, I knew that if I go seek after God, he would make everything all right. My situation may not change, but I can still see the Lord. Can I tell you what got me through a week and a half and I see you with tubes everywhere? I could still see the Lord. Yeah, they, 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 they had some visiting hours. They had visiting hours where people had to leave by a certain time. And oh, Lord, that time was lonely. Oh, Lord, that's the time when the devil was trying to get in my mind. But you know what I did? I sought after the Lord. Yeah, mama had to leave. Yeah, wife had to leave. Yeah, my baby had to leave. But the Lord could still be saved. Says, I saw the Lord. Yeah, yeah I, I'm going through. I'm not feeling my best. I'm not doing well. But I could still see God. Oh, I'm glad that we serve a God that in our struggle, 
he can still be seen. Because, you know, people will disappear on you. People, people will walk away from you. People will go and do their own thing. People will go and handle their own problems. People will walk away from you. But your God, even in your struggle, can always be seen. If you can just see God, oh, he'll give you the strength to keep on going. If, if you can just see God, he can help you to take a punch and keep on pushing. If you can just see God, he will help you keep going. During, during this rough time, he says, I saw the Lord. So, so, so that, that, that had me ask another question. I like to ask questions. He says, the year the king of Zion died, I saw the Lord. So my question was, Isaiah, what is it that you saw? You, 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 you saw... You saw the Lord. What is it that you saw? I, I, I got to get to Zion this morning and, and, and tell them something. So I'm going to pull on you, Isaiah. What is it that you saw? Says, Bible says, yeah, the king of Zion died. I saw the Lord. What, what did you see? I saw the Lord sitting on the throne. <laughs> the, 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 the next thing he wanted us to see, he, he says, this, this is what I saw. I saw something about God in my struggle. Can I tell you that uh, you, 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 you learn the most about God when you're going through something? You, 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 you learn the most about the character of God when, when life hits you. And he, he says, he says, this is what I saw. This is what I saw. I saw that he was still seated. He says, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne. I said, okay, so you going through trouble, you hurting, you going through pain, and the Lord wasn't even standing? Let me tell you something. If something is going on with me, if something is coming up against me, my crew bet not be sitting. If somebody is coming after you and you look around and your people are sitting, you need to find you some new people. Because when something is about to go down, I need to look around and make sure that my people are standing and ready in great anticipation of what is about to go down. He says, I saw the Lord sitting. He said, this is what I saw. I saw that even though I was going through something, he was still sitting. Oh, God. What, what does that mean? See, whenever somebody stays seated, that means they're not worried. That, that, that means they're not concerned about what's going on. Oh, you know, you know, don't act like you've been saved all your life. When you was in that club, when you was under that tree, and somebody acted like they wanted to do something, it looked like something was about to pop off. Oh, you didn't stay in that seat, but you popped up, and you made sure you was ready. You got in your stands just in case you had to swing one. Don't act like you've been saved all your life, because you can look around and see that something ain't right, and you would stand up just to make sure you you are ready but if you stay seated that means you ain't worried about what's going on and he says I looked and saw the Lord and he was still sitting down he wasn't concerned about what I was going through he wasn't concerned enough to get up he says he was still seated so if God is still seated that means he ain't worried like you are. So if God is still seated, even though life is throwing haymakers at you, if God ain't worried, why are you worried? If God ain't worried, why are you staying up at night? If God ain't worried, why are you crying all night? If God ain't worried, if you know that you serve a God who has more power seated than you got standing, you ought not be worried about what tomorrow holds. You ought not be worried about what's happening in your life. He says, 
I saw the Lord and he was seated. I'm going through troubles and he's still sitting down. What I've learned is that God can handle all your situations, even in a seated position. God can calm all your fears, even in a seated position. God can handle all your troubles, even in a seated position, because he has more power seated than any of us have standing. So if God is seated, you can go ahead and get some sleep. When you go to sleep tonight, just go to sleep tonight knowing that God is still seated. Just go to sleep tonight knowing that God is still in power. Just go to sleep tonight knowing that God is not concerned because he is still seated. He was seated. I saw that the Lord was still sitting down. Where was he sitting? He was not just sitting on one of these padded chairs. But the Bible says he was seated on the throne. Oh, my God. And for those of you that know, don't know, thrones are reserved for the king. Thrones are reserved for the royalty. Thrones are reserved for those who got the power. Thrones are reserved for those who are in command. He was seated on the throne. Helps us to understand that even though Isaiah was going through something, God was still in charge. <laughs> God was still the king. God still had it all worked out in his hands. He, he, he wasn't sitting on no chair. He, he, he was sitting on the throne. Because kings sit in the throne. They make all their decisions and all their moves seated in the, th in the throne. That throne is what gives them authority and power. He, he, he says, McCord, I, I, I'm going through something. I'm, 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 I'm facing some things. But I saw that the Lord was still seated. I, I saw that the Lord had no worries about what I was going through. Because he can handle whatever I'm going through. I said, I said okay, you, you, you saw that, that, that the Lord... That, that, that God was still seated. I like that. I like that. What, what else did you see? He says, keep reading. I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, but, but th th this is what else I noticed when I, when I saw the Lord. He says, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne. Here it is. He wasn't just sitting on the throne, but he was high and lifted up. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he was high and, and lifted up. He says, so it wasn't just that he was still seated, but this told me that he was still superior. Yeah, yeah, S -s superior means to be higher in rank. It, it, it means that you are the one that's in total control. That you got ruling over everybody that's under you. That you got power over everybody that's under you. He says, I saw the Lord and I didn't just see him equal with me. And I didn't just see him on my playing field. But I saw him high and lifted up. That means that although you had a problem, God was still in his rightful position. Oh, yo, you got some pains. God is still in position. What's his position? High and lifted it up high and lifted up that means that he has a very good view of everything you going through because he's not low he's high and lifted up that means he can see what you going through he can see what your neighbor is going through he can see what your other neighbor is going through he gets a bird's eye view of everything that you're going through as a matter of fact here's the good news he's got a better view than you <laughs> 
I don't care how good your glasses are or how good your sight is. God has got a better view than you because he is high and lifted up. It puts him in a position where he can see what you have been through, what you're currently going through, and what's coming your way. And God knows how to put things in position and put things in place to make sure that you make it through what you're going through and that he prepares you for what's coming because he is high and lifted up. As a matter of fact, I like to keep God high and lifted up. That's why I praise him the way I do. I, I like to keep God high and lifted up. That's why I lift my hands. I, I like to keep God high and lifted up because I want him to see better than I can. That's why I praise him. That's why I come to church. That's why I get up in the morning and pray. That's why I anoint my body with oil. It's because I want to make sure that God stays high and lifted up in my life. I never want God to come down to my level. I want God to stay in the tower where he belongs so he can see what's coming my way and he can see what I'm going through. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. If you keep God lifted in your life, your problems will be lowered in your life. Oh, I gotta say that again because that helped me too. If you keep God lifted in your life, your problems will be lowered in your life. Somehow or another, the higher I see God, the lower my problems feel, the lower my pains feel, the lower my burdens feel. As a matter of fact, take a moment and lift him up right now. Take a moment and tell him thank you just because he's high and lifted up. Take a moment and give God praise just because he's high and lifted up. Can I tell you, it doesn't matter how low your life is. God is still high and lifted up. It doesn't matter what you're going through. He's still high and lifted up. It doesn't matter what you're facing right now. He's still high and lifted up. Tell somebody, keep him high and lift it up and everything will be all right. I might be feeling low, but if I keep him high and lift it up, everything. He says, I saw that even though I was in a struggle, I was in pain, I was in problems. God was still superior. He was still higher than me. He was still more knowing than me. He still had all power in his hands. He still was seated above me. That's why I got to look up. Because he's high and lifted up. That, 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 that's why I got to keep looking to the hills from what's coming my help because he's, he's high and lifted up. And sometimes you need that reminder because life will cause you to feel low. Life will get you in a low place. But you got to remember that it doesn't matter how low things are, your God is still high and lifted up. He says, I saw the Lord. And what I saw was, he was still seated. What I saw was, he was still superior. And I saw, as I kept reading, I'm done. He says, you're the king as I died. I saw the Lord sitting on the throne, high and lifted up. And the train of his robe filled the temple. That, 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 let, let me, let me, let me just throw this in here for free. When someone has a long train on their robe, it means that they are not moved. They, they, they don't intend on having to move very much. It, it puts you in the mind, mother, of a bride with that long dress. And the only movement she does is going from this point forward. Because the train of her dress doesn't require her 
to move too much. And it says, not only was his train long, but his train filled the whole temple. So that means he had the biggest robe train you've ever seen, which means that ain't nothing gonna move him. <laughs> that means that where you see him seated and where you see him in position, he ain't gonna move from there. He don't intend on moving. It doesn't matter what you're going through. He not gonna be moved. So if he won't be moved, you don't need to be moved. That means God cannot moved by any mountain or any problem in your life but he's going to stay seated on that throne and from that seated position he's going to handle everything that you got going on says train his robe filled the whole temple above it stood the seraphim each one has six wings these are angels with the two he covered his face, and with two he covered his feet, and the two he flew. And this is what the angels did. The Bible says, and one cried to another. Holy. Holy. Holy is the Lord of hosts. So what are you trying to say? Isaiah says what I saw, Pastor McCord, is that although I was going through struggle, the Lord was still sovereign. He says, I looked up there and I saw some angels encamped around the Lord and they looked at one another and said, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. And the whole earth is filled with his glory. What does that mean? That God is still sovereign. Doesn't matter what you're going through. God is still sovereign. That means he's still got the power. That means he's still in control. That means he can still handle what, what you're going through. I feel better now because I started thinking about how the Lord is sovereign. The Bible says that the angels looked at one another. They didn't look at God. They looked at one another and said, holy, holy, holy. They didn't need to tell God. They were telling one another. They were reminding one another that the God that is sitting on the throne, he's still holy. Look at somebody and tell them, neighbor, he's holy. Neighbor, he's holy. Neighbor, he's holy. Now why did they have to say holy three times? Why is it that a singular God deserves a trifecta of holy? Well, I believe in my mind when they saw God sitting on the throne, they saw not just the Father, but the Son, not just the Father, but the Son, not just the Son, but the Holy Ghost. And they said each one of them deserves some holy. And what I came to tell somebody is that even when you're going through life circumstances, the Lord, he's still holy. Holy above every problem. Holy above every situation. Holy above everything that you're going through. Look at somebody and tell them, neighbor, he's still holy. Tell somebody he's still holy. I 
I know you're in pain, but he's still holy. I know you're going through trouble, but he's still holy. I know you're hurting, but he's still holy. I know you're trying to make ends meet, but he's still holy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's still. Holy, holy, when you wake up in the morning and the devil tries to get you, just shout out, he's holy, 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 when you get to work and they messing with you, just shout out, he's still holy, 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 when the doctor gives you a bad report, look at that doctor and say, he's still holy. He's still, he's still holy. He knows all, he can do all, he can see all, he can handle all. He's still. Can I talk to our pastor real quick? Pastor, I know you're watching this. Here's what I want you to know. We gonna miss Mama Ruby. We gonna miss her. I know you're hurting. I know you're in pain. I know you're struggling. But here's the word for you. The Lord, he's still Now, if you know that the Lord, he's still holy, he's still God, give him praise like you know he's holy. Give him worship like you know he's holy. Give him honor like you know he's holy. If you don't remember nothing else, if you don't remember nothing else, remember that your God, he's still holy. Holy, holy are you, Lord, God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. My God, my Jesus, it doesn't matter what's going on, he's still holy. On Friday, when they pierced him in his side, on Friday, when they nailed his hand, he was holy on the cross. When they took him down and put him in the tomb, he was still holy in the tomb. And early that Sunday morning, when he got up with all power in his hands, he was still holy. I keep hurting, but he's still holy. The pain might stay, but he's still holy.
Though the storms in my life, they keep on raging. There's something I want you to know. It doesn't matter how the storm comes. It doesn't matter how strong the wind is. My soul. My soul. My soul has been anchored in the Holy Lord. Look at somebody and tell them the winds are blowing, but my soul is anchored in the Lord. Here's the whole point. Here's the whole point. The whole point is back to my title. It doesn't matter what's going on. He's still God. There is nothing that can happen that can move him from his position. He's a leader that can't be overthrown. He's a leader that can't be voted out. It doesn't matter what's happening. He's still God. He's still seated. He's still superior. He's still sovereign. And he's still holy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Says. Says they said, the angel said, not to God, but to one another. Holy, holy, holy. Sometimes we gotta remind one another that God is still holy.
He wants us to know. He wants us to know that whatever we're facing, whatever we're going through, he is still God. Everyone stand with me. Let me tell you how holy and sovereign he is. Seven months ago, me and Pastor were doing our planning for 2024. And I said, man, you know, you haven't really taken any extended time off from preaching. So you really haven't maybe a Sunday here or a Sunday there, but you really haven't gotten an extensive break from preaching seven months ago. Jesus. And we made the decision because April is it's anniversary month. We said, man, well, how about you just take April off from preaching? So you just be, Jesus. not have to worry. If I'm lying, I'm flying. You can ask pastor. So you can just not have to worry about sermon prepping, not have to worry about preaching. I said, man, just don't preach in April. Jesus. Your anniversary Sunday, we, all, we got a guest coming. I'll handle the rest or somebody will do the rest. Doesn't matter. You Don't preach in April. Jesus. This was seven months ago. The first thing he said to me and when I got on the phone with him, after his mother passed and we were loading the car up getting ready to go pick him up he said man the Lord knew I was going to need this month off God and his sovereignty had already went ahead And said, I'm going to go ahead and take that off your plate so that you can have the strength to deal with some other stuff. God is sovereign. He is in total control. And what he wants us to know today that it doesn't matter what's going on. He's still holy. We're going to open the doors of the church now and extend this invitation. Because maybe you're here today or you're watching and the thing that's missing from your life is a God who's that holy. So we don't want to leave here today and rob you of the opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. We serve a God that no matter what was going on, he can still be seen. No matter how life is getting crazy, he's still seated on the throne. No matter what's going on, he, he's still superior. He's high and lifted up. And it doesn't matter what we have happening in our life. He's still sovereign. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? So we offer Christ to you this morning. If you are here and you have never been saved, you've never accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, we offer Christ to you. We offer you to give your life over to Jesus. If you are here and you are not saved, You've never accepted Jesus. You've, you've, you've never been baptized. If you don't know where you are going for eternity once you leave this body, we offer Christ to you. If you're here, if you're here, if you're here and you're not saved, we offer him to you this morning. If you're here, if you're here and you're not saved, if you're here.
He will give you. He will give you brand if you're here. new life. If you're here. New life abundantly. Oh, come. If you're here. Come on. If you're here. To Christ. If you're here. If you're here. Maybe you're already saved, but you're looking for a church home. We offer Zion to you now. You, you're already in the ark of safety. You've already saved. You've already accepted Jesus Christ, but you're looking for a church home. We want to be your church. We, we, we want to be your church family. And we welcome you to come and make Zion your home. If you're here and you need a church home, we offer this church to you. If you're here. 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 If you're here, if you're here, you need a church home, if you're here, last call, if you're here. New life abundantly, oh, come, come on to Christ. Hallelujah. God bless you. You may be seated in the very presence of our God. Let's look at somebody and say, he's still God. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what you're facing. One thing that he will always be is God. And we bless God for his being. We bless him for being holy, even in the midst of hurt. Because he has the power to do that. Listen, uh, we are uh, moving forward in these services. A couple more things that we need to do. Um, as we are preparing to give, as we are preparing to give, a few things, a few very, very important things um, by way of announcements. Um, please, everyone, listen, everyone, um, tune in. As, as we're getting ready to give, there's a few important things. Um, we're going to be pushing out a lot of information to you, okay, today and over the next few weeks. Obviously, there is a lot going on. Um, we're in the midst of I'm right on the, the heels of celebrating Pastor's 13th anniversary. And we're still going to celebrate that. We, we're still going to celebrate that. We're still going to celebrate that. Um, and we know that, um, you know, Mama Ruby would want us to because she'd be sitting right there in her seat um, right here celebrating that. So we're, we're still going to be celebrating that. So, um, um, Tuesday, Tuesday, and Nikisha, I may need your help because my mind is not all the way there today, but Tuesday, um, the 16th, um, our pre-anniversary service, um, there it is, um, New Shiloh um, and, and Pastor Alfonso Jackson, uh, Mama Ruby was actually still a member of New Shiloh, this was our home church, so um, how fitting is it that her church um, is coming on Tuesday to celebrate her son um, as, as he celebrates 13 years. So Tuesday at 7.30 p.m., um, let's support our pastor. He, he needs us now like never before. Like never before. Um, so let's celebrate him. Let's show him that we still have a reason to celebrate even in this season. Let's show up, right? Let, let's not let um, Shiloh come, but Zion is not here. Amen. Um, so, so let's show up Tuesday at 7.30 and let's celebrate our first family. Um, and also um, Sunday, the Sunday after, I believe it's the 21st, um, the, the anniversary service. We have a phenomenal, phenomenal preacher, pastor um, from Birmingham, Alabama. Um, pastor Thomas Beavers is going to be with us. Phenomenal man of God, phenomenal preacher. Um, that is the day. We're going to dress up and we're going to celebrate our first family um, like never before. Listen, um, our ministry leaders, as it relates to our anniversary, Sister O has, has reached out to all of the ministry leaders to give you um, your date um, for your ministry presentation, right? Um, whatever it is, whatever gifts and, 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 and love and offerings and everything you're going to give um, to pastor from your ministry, please, ma'am, please, sir, um, get those things gathered. Um, if you are assigned to present on Tuesday, please be prepared to present on Tuesday. If you're uh, uh, assigned to present on Sunday, please be prepared um, to present on Sunday. There's no gift too small, no gift too big um, to celebrate. So if you have questions about the ministries and what each ministry is doing for Pastor, please see Sister O, um, and she will make sure that you have the information 
um, that you need. Um, so that's Tuesday and that's Sunday, pastor's anniversary. Um, please, let's come, let's celebrate um, I'm on that. On that, I believe that the, the color for Sunday is blue and gold, navy blue, something like that. So if you want to wear the colors, wear the colors. Um, if not, just wear what you got and let's, let's come celebrate. All right. Um, I, I believe that's all uh, for um, the anniversary. Um, we're going to be pushing out to you the information for Miss Ruby's um, homegoing services, um, for the viewing, for the wake, for the service. Uh, we're going to be pushing that information out to you today. Um, but if you want to make note of the dates right now, I will tell you right now. But we will text it out to you. Um, but just so you know, um, Friday, April 26th will be the viewing from 4 to 7 um, at Hall Ferguson Mortuary down in Miami. We'll make sure you get all of the addresses and everything. 4 to 7 will be the viewing at Hall Ferguson um, Funeral Home. The wake will be immediately thereafter at St. Paul AME um, from 7 to 9. The wake will be um, thereafter. Um, as it relates to the wake, uh, we do need assistance with people serving. Um, we are responsible for the food and for the utensils. We're just using that facility, but we have to provide um, as a church the food and the utensils and everything and the help. Um, so if you are able and willing and available to assist with serving and setting up Friday night at the wake. Please see Sister Kim. Raise your hand. Kim, please see her. Let her get your name and information um, because we, we, need, we need some hands. We need some help um, to serve food and all, and all those things at, at the wake. Um, also, um, Courtney, Sister Courtney has a list to um, help with some donations for plastic wear and plates and utensils and to-goes and cups and all those things. Please see her right after service to sign up to donate something. All right, they'll be in the back at the tables in the back. Um, if, if you can assist with donating, um, please do that. If you if the list gets full and there's nothing else to donate, please, ma'am, please, sir, donate some money to the cause. We're, we're getting food. Um, we, we don't want them to have to worry about any of these things. We, we don't want them to have to worry about where the food is. We, they don't have to worry about that. We are going to take care of that. Amen, because that's what a church family does. So we're, we're not asking any one person to do a lot of things. We're just asking a lot of people to do a few small things. All right? So, so sign up for the plastic wear. Give a little extra um, so that we can get, get food and make sure that, that the wake has, has proper food um, that Friday night. Um, also, transportation. Uh, we are in the process of trying to rent a, a bus, possibly a 15 passenger, possibly two. We're still trying to work it out. Um, if you can drive, if you can carpool down to Miami for the viewing, for the wake, for the service, please do that, right? And let's reserve the bus spaces for those who are unable or who absolutely can't, all right? If, it, if it's going to be a 15 passenger van, then the 15 is all we're going to have. Um, so please reserve, let's leave space for those who really need the transportation. If you can hop in the car with somebody, please do that, all right? If you can drive, please do that. Um, if you want to sign up for, um, to ride the bus, also see Sister Courtney. I mean, there'll be someone else back there with her helping her out. Um, there'll be two lists, one for the bus on Friday, one for the bus on Saturday for, for the funeral, okay? Um, if you absolutely need the bus, please sign up, make sure you sign up for the right one. As it relates to the funeral, Saturday, April 27th, Saturday, April 27th, 10 a.m. will be the funeral. It will be at New Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church there in Miami, okay? All of Zion needs to show up. All of Zion needs to show up. I don't care if you haven't been here in a year, two years, three years, this is the time we need to show up for our first family, all right? Um, make your way. It's, it's the 27th at New Shiloh, 10 a.m., all right? And we're going to um, send uh, Mama Ruby off the right way, um, and we're going to support our first family. The bus will also be available for that day. I believe that bus is going to leave at 9 um, for that day, um, and we want to make sure that you sign up for that as well. Um, I believe I got everything. Did I miss anything? I got it. Okay. All right. Thank the Lord for this brain. Because um, <laughs> I am struggling today. I am struggling. 
Um, thanks to thanks to y'all Broward County folks. I got called out until 4.30 this morning. Um, so I don't even know how I'm standing right now, but the Lord is good. Um, the wife was praying before I left home, and then Charlotte and Mama came in there and prayed some more. I said, I'm ready now. Um, but we thank God. We thank God. Listen, again, all of this information is going to be pushed out to you. I just wanted to put it in your spirit, let you hear it so you know what's going on, so that you understand that there's a lot going on right now. Our team, our leaders, our staff are working feverishly to make sure that this all gets done and that it gets done in excellence and that there's no pressure and no worry going on in the Austin household. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Um, because that's what we are supposed to um, to do again we said this through text message but i know people want to reach out and want to call pastor and kim and and we totally understand but let's try to keep it to a minimum let's try to refrain from doing that especially if it's some kind of church business or something that can wait um call me reach out to me reach out to nikisha um and let let them keep the main thing the main thing right now amen um, so if, if you need to reach out to me, please do that. If you need to reach out to Nikisha, do that. If it can wait, um, let's just let it let it wait. Amen. Um, I, I believe that's everything. I, 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 I don't think there's any more announcements. Just be, continue to pray. Continue to pray um, for Pastor. He absolutely needs it right now. Um, but let's also not forget to pray for his wife. Um, a, a, a lot of times we, we direct all of our attention and everything towards, um, you know, in this situation towards pastor, and we get it, rightfully so. Um, but she's trying to keep it together for him. <laughs> and she's trying to hold it all together. Um, and so, so keep her prayed up as well. Keep her prayed up as well. She, 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 she lost a mother-in-law as well. Um, so, so keep her, keep the kids prayed up. They're here in church today, um, but they're at an age where they, they understand what's going on, and, and, and that's hard, that's hard. Um, so, so keep them prayed up, the entire Austin family, um, keep them prayed up. And all of the leaders and laborers um, that, are, that are stepping up um, to make sure that everything here at the church gets done and gets done right, um, just keep us all in prayer during this season. Because um, we want Pastor to know that he don't need to be rushing back, trying to do this and do that. He needs to take the time he needs um, to deal with what he's dealing with. And we're going to make sure that he's able to do that. Amen. I mean, I know I just said a lot. That was a whole lot. But that gives you a snippet of all the stuff that's going on right now. Um, so let, let's prepare to give. Let's prepare to give. Um, if you need an envelope, raise your hand. If you need an envelope, raise your hand. Um, and, and, and one of these ushers will give you one. Um, and like I said, if, if you're not going to donate um, any utensils or paper goods or anything, give a little extra and maybe earmark it um, so that we can make sure that we have everything we need to get the food for the services. Amen. Let us pray. God, we thank you for this opportunity to give. We thank you, Lord, that we have something to give. Lord God, we ask you to bless both the gift and the giver now and allow this offering to be used for their purpose and which is being raised. This is our prayer we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Ushers, the house is in your hands. If you're online, this is your opportunity to give. The ways of giving are on your screen. Um, we invite you to give now. Amen.
Amen. God bless you. Um, we certainly thank God for um, all of you. Good to see um, so many faces, even some faces we haven't seen in a while. It's so good to see your faces in worship. Um, and we're thankful. Um, and we're thankful to God for always giving us what we need right on time. Amen. Um, I believe I believe that's all the announcements we have for today. Again, um, to sign up to serve on Friday, please see um, Sister Kim. Um, they'll, she'll be in the back. Please see Sister Courtney. Um, raise your hand. Both of you raise your hand. Courtney and Kim, you raise your hands. Sister Courtney and Sister Kim, um, please see them in the back to um, sign up to serve on Friday and also for bus sign up and for donation sign up. Please see them um, right after service. Amen. Let us all stand. We are ready um, to leave from this place. Um, thank you to everyone um, who served today, our ministers, um, Minister McLeod. Reverend Harris, thank you all. Uh, to all of our musicians and music ministry media, ushers, um, LOZ was um, doing their thing across the street, so we thank God for all of our staff um, serving today. Um, and for all of you being in worship, we certainly thank God for, for you. If you will, scrap someone's hand um, as we go to God in prayer. Life will sometime remind you that You don't know if um, this will be the last time you can hold that person's hand. Sometime life will send you those reminders um, that this could very well be the last time um, that we were able to gather here in this place. So we don't take it for granted. Let us pray. God, God our Father, we are so grateful for our experience in your house today. We're grateful, Lord God, that you had your way. We're grateful that you allowed us to come and to worship and to praise and to hear your word. God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the reminder that no matter what we're going through, you're still God. You're still holy, even when we're going through troubles. So, Lord God, we thank you for being holy in our lives. We thank you for being who you are in our lives. We thank you for holding us up. God, we ask you now that you would encamp your angels around us as we leave this place but never your presence. Lord God, we, we don't know what tomorrow holds. We don't know what's around the corner. We, we don't know if our serpent will be broken before we're able to meet again. So, Lord God, protect us from any hurt, harm, and danger. Cover us with your precious blood everywhere that we may go. Lord God, allow us to gather once again here in your presence. Lord God, we lift up our pastor and his wife and their kids and their family now as they go through this time of bereavement. Lord God, we ask you that you would comfort them, that you would give them peace that surpasses all understanding. God, we ask you that you would help them to have the space and the grace to mourn the way they need to mourn. Help them to know that it's all right to cry, that it's all right to feel what they feel. Help them to be united but not separated in this season. I pray, Lord God, that this family, the Austin family, the Fryer family, that they come together like never before. I pray, Lord God, that you would keep them in perfect peace as their mind has stayed on you. Lord God, keep us as we leave this place, but never your presence. Go with us near and far until we are able to meet again. And now unto him, unto him who is still God, unto him who is still seated, unto him that can be seen, who is still superior, who is still sovereign, our holy God, unto him be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, henceforth now and forevermore. All those who love the Lord said amen, 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 and amen. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer. We'll see you on Tuesday night. See you on Tuesday night. Amen.